Hi, my name is Mashad. I attended sixth form from 2013 to 2016. When I first started here, I studied business level two and ICT level two. And then throughout the two year, the rest of the two years I was here, I studied and moved on to um, media level three, film and TV. And then I moved on to the next level of the business course, which was a level three subsidiary diploma. When I first started here, my GCSE results weren't looking too great at all. I got very low grades and I had a really big ambition of wanting to do A-levels when I started here. I mean, it wasn't as planned as I wanted it to be, but I was very, it, it meant a lot to me. I was really like heartbroken over it because I had this high ambition. I wanted to go to one of the top universities and I, it, just, it was just a really like quick time and it just happened so quickly like I was a student at school that never gave up I had the ethic all my teachers said it to me you had the work ethic but I don't know it, it, it was just strange something I don't know what it was but it really like it got to me a lot like when I enrolled here as well back in 2013 my enrollment teacher the, when she told me I had to do three years here it was kind of daunting at first because everyone was doing two years and I wasn't gonna leave with my year and that kind of got to me a lot because um, the students some of the students that I know they were leaving before me so it, it, it just got to me a lot at first but then when I came here, that all changed. Like in my second year, I realised that yeah, it's an extra year, but what ha what harm has it really done to me? If anything, sixth form has really changed a lot for me. It gave me it's like a it was like a second chance to rewrite the biggest wrong in my life that I made already and correcting it. As I got through years it was hard at first um, as I mentioned earlier I did film in TV level 3 in the second year when I started that I found it very difficult at first to understand certain things certain methods on how to use a camera just certain certain things I struggled with but a certain teacher told me he knows who he is um, he used a certain phrase when the penny drops it drops and then as I got into my third year, that something something did change. It clicked, and then when as soon as I realised that, like my all my practical work, my theory based work, it all just changed. I mean, I set myself targets. One of the targets I wanted to leave sixth form is with a distinction, and when I saw my first result. Um, I had to make an advert and when the teacher gave me a distinction I kind of just questioned him about three or four times did I really get a distinction for that and then I don't know it just as the year went as the year went on it just all just changed for me um, even in my business my business course that I did here I, I was just getting distinctions and it, it, it really changed me a lot not just in my education but personally like even just the whole environment around sixth form it just the teachers the friends that I made they just it just all changed and it really I didn't think about where I was back in high school as much anymore at this moment in time because I knew that one of the one of the things well one of the things that I learned through film is I used to watch a lot of films and I used a certain quote that Christopher Nolan uses in one of his Batman films why do we fall so we learn to pick ourselves back up again and I believed in that a lot because in 2016 August when I got my results um, I actually left sixth form with a double distinction in film and TV and a distinction star in business and it really meant to me a lot I was really emotional on the day because three years ago when I left high school I 
I left with very bad grades and I've got nothing to hide. I mean, in science GCSE, I got a grade F. Maths GCSE, I got a grade G. English, I got a grade D. The only things that I passed back in high school was a BTEC sport course that I did and ICT. And, but three years on from that, it all changed for me a lot. Even at sixth form, I redid my GCSEs and I eventually passed my English. Maths I was close on, but it didn't get to me. It didn't get to me because I've achieved a lot more in the three years for that to get to me now, because it's just a thing that's, you know, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And there'll be a time where it comes, where it all clicks again. But sixth form has really, it's changed me a lot as a person, the way I think, and, you know, it's, it's really changed me. What happened with Max? I'm off to University of De Montfort now. Um, it was, it's been a long ride. It's been a long ride. I mean, I had to work each step that I've come through. I've had to work for it. I've never, I've never been a student that's had it easy. I've always had to, I've always had to do what I've had to do. I mean, three years I was at sixth form, I had to do four courses at the same time. I had to do two BTECs and two GCSEs and on that route university came into my mind. I've always had a thing, thing for university that I've always said. It's for me it's more of a, a thing that I've wanted to do personally because a degree is a degree. People think degrees are just degrees but to me it means a lot more to me because I'm not the brightest student but getting that degree is something else and it's something that I've always wanted to do and I've got the heart, I've got my heart set on what I want to do at De Montford University and I only, I only got my um, place there a few, few days ago. I mean, it feels really weird that I'm going to university now because when I left high school, I thought that was the end for me because I failed my GCSEs. I thought, without getting GCSE, you can't go to uni. But as I said, sixth form really had changed everything for me. And it gave me what I needed to do. And it kind of just, it just, it just got to me a lot when I was leaving though, because knowing that I'm going to university, it, Six Swarm still has a place in my heart and it always will because it's done a lot of things for me that I didn't expect. I mean, I got a lot of support here from both teachers and from my friends. I mean, it it gave me something that I'm never going to forget about it. And it just, I've just got that attachment to it. But university is something that I will fulfill and I will complete. I'd just like to send a message to the next generation of students that are coming up who've just completed their GCSEs and coming up to sixth form. Don't think that it's the end of the world. I know that not everyone gets the grades at first, but do you know what? This fall could help you to either rise to the top and achieve what you've always wanted to achieve, or it's going to either make you or break you. But don't let it break you. This should be a sign of you've got another chance to right the biggest wrong that you've made back in school. Because Sixth Form has got the teachers, the facilities, it's got everything here you need. So don't ever give up because I was in the same position as you when I started Sixth Form. I failed my GCSEs. I had to work my way back up, but it, it worked it worked because I had the work ethic and when you want something so bad it comes to you but you just got to be patient and just keep working through don't let this break you because this is only going to make you stronger and you will get to where you want to be as long as you keep working hard and the most important thing is you have to keep fighting for what you believe in the three years I was at sixth form I had my heart set on university. I wanted to go to university. And in order to do that, I had to achieve the grades that I needed to get now to go there. 
sure you guys all will as well. I have my faith in every single one of you. And you guys never give up. Everyone that's picking courses now to do at college, all I wanted to say is, well, be careful what you pick because nothing is easy here. Nothing's easy anywhere, wherever you go. You just have to be careful on what you pick because A-levels is another level and doing BTECs now, it's something else too because it's not like how it was in school where you prep for one exam at the end of the year. There's going to be multiple deadlines you have to meet in both A-level and BTEC. And my advice to every student is pick something you like don't pick it because it's easy because no, no course here anywhere is going to be easy Every, everywhere is going to have assignments that you're going to have to meet in a week or two A levels are going to have coursework that you're going to have to complete within this time just pick what's right for you and what's going to make it easy for you is if you have that bonding with the course and if you like the course yourself don't pick anything because it's easy because no course here anywhere is going to be easy at all.